Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with the Magic Brad Show. And I've got a new friend on here. He's down in the southern part of town. He said it's raining there. His last name is, I hope, Roca, and his first name is Luis. Is that yes, pronounced that's correctly? Cor yes, sir, it is. That's correct. Yay! <laughs> My last name is Goodham, and if they know how to say it, they can't spell it, and if they know how to spell it, they can't say it. So, oh, <laughs> Brad, it's safer. <laughs> yeah. So is it, is it raining hard down there, like hurricane kind of stuff? or just? No, 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 but it's, it's storming really, really bad right now. You know, a lot of flooding outside, actually. Yeah, and you're right on a peninsula there down in Florida, so you get it from both sides, right? Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's double impact over here. See, that's what I, I got a friend who lives out in L.A., and he's got to deal with hurricane or uh, earthquakes and fires and all that stuff. And I'm up here in Minneapolis. All we got to deal with is cold. Yes, and the snow. Yeah, we got to we gotta deal with hurricanes and stuff like that. This one, there's a system around the corner. Got to take a look at that one. Hopefully, everything will be good. I've never experienced a hurricane. I've experienced some tornadoes up here, and they, they just come and they hit, and you can either, you're either dead or not. The yeah. hurricane, it's like it beats on you for, you know. Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's nonstop. I mean, you know, you get hurricanes that's, that's uh, powerful, but then you get some that's just regular rain, but it's not that bad. You know, everybody says it's bad, but it's not bad. As long as you prepare, you're good. You know, you get used to it. You, you figure out, hey, you got to go buy plywood this weekend or something. <laughs> yes. So how long do you live down there? Well, I'm originally from New York. Um, I've been in, uh, in Florida for the past uh, three years. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. You know, I was, uh, I was living actually in Sarasota. I moved from New York to Sarasota, and now I'm in uh, Orlando. You know, separated with my ex, so you know, stuff I like happens. The New but... Yorkers, because they tell you like it is. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I don't know why, but it is. It is. You know, sometimes. No, it it's is, totally know. different in the Midwest. They never make a freaking decision. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard to sell anybody anything here because they don't. They don't decide. And then in LA, they tell you like it is, but that's not really like it is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different. It goes across there. The pioneers went out there and learned how to be pretentious. Exactly. <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, your business and what you do because it's a it's an interesting um, thing. People going back and forth because I know that the, you're selling what they call solo ads, right? Yes, yeah, email traffic for uh, yeah. websites and uh, you know for business that uh, needs the traffic. So basically, I'm the middle guy. You know, I'm the one that they go to uh, get the traffic. You know, instead of selling the you know instead of get, going and getting the gold, I, I'm selling the picks and the. Uh, you know, the shovels. The picks and the axes and the, the Levi jeans. I hear yes, that. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I appreciate you being here and having the guts to be on video and stuff because a lot of these solo guys, they're not, uh, they're selling fake clicks and all that. And, stuff. you know, and, uh, and that's why I got into this business because I know it's a lot of people out there selling a lot of garbage. And, you know, I put myself out there because this is my business. You know, this is, I'm doing this because of my kids, you know, and uh, to put my business out there, you know, I invest a lot of money in my business. So I don't want people to be like, oh, you're selling trash. No, I want to give you the best traffic that I could give you, the best customer support that I could give you. Because for me, it's all about customer support, you know, because it's a lot of people that, that sells traffic. Like you said, it's sell a lot of garbage, you know. But if I could talk to them, help them out, let them know, hey, listen, I got traffic. If you can't afford it, hey, I'll work with you. Talk to me. We'll try to work something out, you know. So basically, that's, that's it. You know, I'm just trying to do the best best thing that I could do for for my, for my customers you know there's there's so much uh I guess you call it just crap on the internet whether it be solo ads or anything because it's yeah, so easy yeah. to duplicate something I don't know if you remember you're, you're kind of younger but do you remember the platform called front page front page front page I think I'm not exactly it's sure kind of like your, your basic now they got Wix and they got uh, all these different well, WordPress okay on it. but front page was a more of a Microsoft thing I think but it had a, the ability to duplicate a website. Okay. You go onto a website and you just click this little button and it duplicates that site just like that. And then you can change it up however you want. So it's so easy for people to scam people on the internet. That's why I like to do these videos like this. Cause uh, you know, yeah. if, if you were, were a scammer, you wouldn't be here right now. You know? Yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, it's, it's you know, I, it's just my business, you know, this is what I, cause I used to do affiliate marketing back then. But, um, you know, I mean, money here and there, but, you know, it's like, you know what, why do that when I could just be the one, you know, providing the traffic? Well, it's good you that you that. did affiliate marketing because then you know what us affiliate marketers are looking for. 
Yeah, yeah. So I know, I know, you know, I, I started from the bottom and I know how it is. And, and yes, and I've been scammed a couple of times by a lot of people that was selling uh, robot, you know, clicks and stuff like that. And I invested a lot of money and got garbage. And I was like, okay, why? Why are these people selling so much garbage? And I was like, okay, when I get there, I want to give my clients the best experience, the best traffic that I could give them. You know, because I want them to be happy. Because once they're happy, they're going to come back to me. Exactly. Hey, Lewis, listen. Exactly. Hey, you got the best traffic. Hey, work with me. Okay, cool. You know, as long as they're happy, I'm good. They're making money, I'm making money. You know, so it's a win-win situation for both that's of us. Works. And that's what I tell some people, just like uh, marketing in general. If you don't have your traffic lined up with your offer, it ain't going to yeah. work. It's like uh, I use the analogy of someone that's selling like hamburgers and steaks and barbecue sauce. And they're selling it to vegans and vegetarians. <laughs> they're not gonna make no sales. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. So you gotta right. line it up because I'm assuming like you got they got the, the tier one traffic, which is the English speaking countries, and then they yeah, got the yeah, the stuff. top, the top uh, English different, speaking. Totally yeah, they got a different kind of thing. And I sell I sell nothing but top tier countries, which is you know Canada, United States, you know uh, Australia. Um, United Kingdom, like, you know, top, top five uh, English speaking traffic. And then you got the tier three, tier two traffic. That's, uh, you know, like I would say like Africa and stuff like that. And then you got the tier three countries, which is probably like, you know, Spanish speaking countries, you know, there's not a lot of traffic out there, a lot of garbage, but like I said, I try to give the best, you know, cause at the same time, you know, my customers, they, they are uh, spending money. So they want money in return, you know, what they want sure. leads in return. So I got to give them the best, best traffic out there so they could see people, you know, joining whatever they have, you know, so. Are the, the people that you're looking, that you, your traffic consists of, is it uh, primarily entrepreneurs and affiliate marketers, marketers looking for opportunities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of, uh, you know, work from home, uh, business opportunities, uh, affiliate marketing, you know, anything that has to do with the business opportunity market net niche. So you think that this, uh, the affiliate marketing world is going to kind of explode now? Uh, man, on a, on a good you, way? You, you, you know what? It's, it's always been here. It hasn't stopped. But I, now, I think now with all the stuff going on, people are trying to find uh, ways to make extra money. Mm -hmm. You know? So, I mean, it, it's, it, it's going to be good. It's going to be But the thing is, you know, with the affiliate marketing and anything with online, you got to put in your work. You know, it's not going to happen from one day to the next. That's what a lot of people think, that they open up a affiliate marketing business or an online business and they put their stuff out there and they think they're going to make money. It doesn't work like that. You know, that's why where I come in and I provide traffic. Because if you're not getting traffic to your business online, you're not, make, you're not making money. I mean, I don't right. care how, how good you are or special you are. If you're not getting that traffic, doesn't matter if it's from YouTube, Facebook, or email marketing, if you're not getting traffic, you're not making money. You know, so... That's why I said, um, you know, I give my customers the best traffic. They're making money. I'm making money. So, you know. I, I said, like, uh, if an affiliate marketer drops a landing page in the forest and nobody's around to see it, does he sell anything? <laughs> no, no. So he's not going to make no money at all, yeah. you know. And that's, that's the truth. That's the truth, you know. But I think it, there is going to be a surge because of the um, – the COVID thing, people are, are familiar now with doing Zooms like this and they're familiar with the online yeah. world. So I think they're going to start getting more comfortable with it to be able to do it. And I also uh, read an mm. article that uh, some of the big brands like Coca-Cola and things are leaving places like Facebook because of the negativity with all the political crap that's going on and all that. Yeah. So they're leaving yeah. Facebook and they're going on to an affiliate marketing model which is interesting. So that's going to wow. kick it up a little bit. That's and nice. That's nice. It's kind of just my personal belief that, you know, everything is just so weird with them. Um, like when you go to, uh, you got a job, you're limited to so many hours you can work. It's only 24 hours in a day. Exactly. And there's only so much that your boss can pay you because he's got a business to run so that you're mm -hmm. limited as far as how much money you can make. And then there's other things that the, uh, consumer goes out and buys a house and buys a car pretty soon they're living beyond their means and they're in a trap yeah. and i think what's going to start happening is people are going to start realizing i just saw a thing this morning about it that uh, it's no longer about those letters that are after your name your your credentials mm -hmm. it's about the results your skills and your yes. results yeah. and people are going to start realizing that and you know if they find a good offer and they're doing affiliate marketing and they go hey Luis, can you sell me some clicks and it starts turning a profit 
what do they do with that money? Part of it, they make like a BMW a, payment. The rest, they put back into buying more cars. And that's, and, 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 but you know what? That's something that I have seen too, that people make money online and stuff like that. And instead of reinvesting it back in their business, they're spending it. And I tell people, why are you doing that? Reinvest it back in your business. Make that, make that money work for you. Don't spend it. Yeah. You know, when you see that, that you have a good resort, take, you know, take it a little 20 and reinvest it. But a lot of people go out there and spend money. And then they realize, they wonder why their uh, business is not making income. You're not marketing. You're not reinvesting your money back in your business. So, yeah. you know. Lamborghini is not a good investment. Oh, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not. But I tell you what, you know, it's, 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 it's a global uh, reset. You know, all this stuff that's going on is a global reset. And a lot of people are trying to, a lot of people right now are, are figuring that out. You know, if you're not doing nothing, trying to better yourself, you know, because that nine to five is not going to work no more. You know, you have to do a, figure something out and, and go out there and, and you know, make, make, that, uh, make your own economy. Basically. Yeah, the, the two things you know? that I'm selling right now and promoting are online education, teaching people how to be an entrepreneur and have an entrepreneurial mindset and be able to, you yeah. know, get out of bed before 11 a.m. just because you don't have a job means you still got to get up and work. Oh, yeah, exactly. And then learning how to do, how to buy solo ads and how to buy solo ads smart and how to do Facebook ads and how to optimize an SEO, YouTube and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And when people learn that stuff, then they can start using these tools. And like, I would say that your business is sort of a tool for yes, a, a marketer. Exactly. We would utilize some like, and a lot of people don't realize how simple it is either. And you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's, it's kind of as simple as saying, okay, I want a hundred clicks. I want a thousand clicks or I want 5,000 clicks. And it's proportionate as far as what it costs. And then you just give them the landing page, you input all that stuff and then track it all and they, they get the traffic. Yeah, I, and I tell you what, I, I, and I tell you what, I laugh sometimes because it's so simple. People think it's, oh my God, it's so hard. I was like, no, just give me your link and I'll take care of it. And like, that's it. It's like, yeah, that's it. You don't gotta do nothing. Just give me your link. And they, they start like laughing. They're like, that's simple. They were like, oh my God, I was so scared. I was like, no, just that's it. And then they come back, oh my God, you know what? I can't believe it. I got so and so much clicks and leads and this and that. They were like, man, it wasn't lying. It's really simple. And I was like, I told you. Well, that's because you, you know? were, like you said, you were an affiliate marketer. So you understand you, you probably have landing pages out there and banner ads yeah. and you got that yeah. stuff pulling all yeah. that traffic in. Yeah. So why would someone, like I'm, a, I'm an advocate of like automate and delegate. Why should I go out and figure out how am I going to do a banner ad in this, uh, this place and the size of the banner and have it designed and put it there? And how am I going to, you know, put money into Facebook to maybe get clicks and, and people opting in when I can just take that money that I would have spent doing that and give it to you. And, yeah. and, it's, and, it's, traffic. and it's much more simpler, you know, it's much more yeah. easy. Cause right now you try to, to, um, you try to advertise on Facebook. Facebook really, is really coming down on a lot of stuff. You know, they really, uh, yeah. Being strict on, on how the way you advertise, yeah. even if you try to advertise something on, on Facebook, they won't approve your ads to say uh, it's network marketing or MLM. And even though it's not, and even though if you try to fight it, you know, to try to get it approved, it's hard with Facebook, you know, and it's, it's just Tell hard, you know, it. it's hard, it. you know? So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm right now, I'm right now fighting with them right now. Cause I'm trying to, trying to do a, 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 a advertisement and men are fighting me. You know, it's like, I know it's really, it's really, really weird. It's almost like uh, they don't want you to make any money. They just want you to spend money. They don't want you to make any money. Yes. And they do it their is. marketplace where if you're, if you're on there, but then they're taking a big piece of it. But yes. there are so much limitations and I'm tired of it. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's, 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 I tell you what, it's a pain in the butt, man. It's, it really is. You know, and that's why I try to try to um, try to help people out, you know, cause like I said, you know, if, if, if I could help them out to get traffic, they're making money, you know, or even growing the list. Cause like sometimes they say money, your the list is, is where the money's at. You have your list, you got money. You know, growing your list, but um, that's what's something else that a lot of people don't understand. You know, that they just want to, you know, make money, make money. But if you're not growing your list and you're not taking care of your customers, you're not gonna see leads. You're not gonna see business. You know, I mean, it's it's not just put up a business and be like, okay, let's make money. This and this and that. No, it takes you know, it takes dedication. It takes time and and all this stuff. Well, I've told people before that uh, like. To me, I simplify things and the whole thing with whole marketing is generating the lead and then it's all relationship. It's all yes, relationship. Yes. And then when it's, you don't have to close any sale with no neuro linguistic programming tactics. Mm -hmm. If it's good, they'll buy. 
So it's, yeah. it's really, it's all a relationship. And that's like what you're talking about. When you treat your people right, they'll come back. And yeah, like, like I said, that's, that's, that's what I said. Sometimes I had a guy call me the other day and, um, you know, I sold my traffic at, at a certain price. He was like, man, you know, it's like, it's too much money, this and this. And I was like, listen, work with me. I'll work with you, you work with me. I was like, I'll give you these prices. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to work with people. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be stingy or nothing like that. And I and I tell him, okay, listen, I'll break it down a little bit. You tell me know how it works and stuff like that. If you're happy, then we'll work something out. And yeah, we, he he bought it. He was happy. He was like, oh man, thanks. This and this and that. You know, like I said, it's it's all about customer support. You know, you know, relationship. You know, talk to them and, and just let them know, hey, listen, I got your back. You know. Do you have a constant flow of traffic coming in, so it's new, fresh, or is it just re return? No, no, no. My, uh, my, uh, I'm updating my every 15 days. You know, so uh, oh. yeah, so it's never the same traffic. You know, not the garbage traffic. It's always you know brand new, brand new people. Especially now with all this stuff going on, a lot of people want to know online information, online business. They want to join something. So I'm always updating my system every 15 days. So when everybody has, everybody gets my lead, they get nothing but fresh leads, you know? And what's uh, cool about this whole thing is it, is it changes all the time. There's always new products and things coming in. So the same people that are on your list might want to shift into something else or expand. Sometimes people like, I know that in the, like the network marketing MLM world, they used to say, stay focused on this, you know, unsubscribe to everything else and stay focused on this. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, is there's other things that a person wants. I remember I was uh, promoting travel for a while and there's a network marketing company of travel and they didn't want me to promote any other travel. And I thought that's not fair. Cause you don't, you don't have all the travel. There's other places people want to go to. Yeah. 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 So you want to be true. able to be able to diversify and, and do whatever you want. That's what's cool about being an affiliate marketer. It's uh, you know, it's my world. I get to do whatever I want. Exactly, exactly. It's like, you know, like with every customer, you know, you might have this product, but he might like this other product. But if you have that other product, he's going to buy from you. You know, if you don't have it, then he's going to go somewhere else, you know? Well, I got some stuff I'm working on right now that uh, <laughs> there's two different products, but they work good together. It's uh, part of it is like, uh, you know how they got those Yelp reviews and the five star reviews? Yes, you want yes. people to see those, but you don't want them to see the one and two star. Yeah. So it pulls those out and gets kind of fix whatever the broke, whatever the problem was before they go and they do the review. Yeah. And it's a cool piece of software like that. Then there's another piece that they just launched. That's going to be sort of like the, the Uber for service businesses for like coaches and consultants, like fitness okay. coaches or relationship coaches or whatever. So if you're looking for a coach, you'd be able to just go onto this website and find a coach that's relevant to whatever that you want to do. And then it's that's got pretty a, cool. You know, it. that's I think that's cool. going to be related to the whole, you know, five star thing. I don't want a one star coach. Yeah, yeah. Do you want? Do you want to try to get the best that you can? Yeah. So it'll sort them out. So, so it's, sometimes it's, you want both products because they work in harmony together. Yeah. Well, cool, Luis. I don't like to do these too long because there is that commodity of time that people have to deal with. So I like That's to fine. be able to see, get to know who you are and what you do and stuff. And maybe down the road we do another one of these. That, um, definitely. I'm now using a platform called Streamyard. You ever familiar with that? No, no, it's much easier to use than Zoom, and you don't have to download any software. But it uh, lets you put those little banners on the bottom and stuff, and little chasers, and put okay. uh, overlays and stuff over it, so you can put like logos and stuff on. So okay, that's pretty that, cool. Implement that, and it also allows you to go live, so I can go live on Facebook and YouTube and Periscope. Actually, also you know what? I did, I did hear something like that. I really did. Now that you said that you could go live on on Facebook and stuff like that, yes. Somebody was telling me about that, but I didn't catch the name of it. But I heard something it's like that. Streamyard, it's gotten pretty, gotten pretty popular. And what I See really like me? about it is you don't have to download it. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm writing it down. I like to. Well, if you want a link for it, it's not an affiliate program, but it's uh, you get um, a discount and I get a credit if I use my link. I'll, I'll send you an email link to it. Okay, cool, cool. It's pretty cool if you do this kind of stuff. And I've been doing a lot of them. It's a lot of fun. I do. I make my coffee in the morning and talk to my Facebook people. And yeah, because what I'm gonna start doing now, I'm gonna um start putting myself out there on Facebook. You know, I mean, I, I have Facebook. I mean, not Facebook. Um, YouTube. You know, I, I got a YouTube page. So I'm gonna start. You know, doing a lot of uh, videos and stuff like just to get my name out there. 
so people could know, hey, listen, I'm not, I'm real. I'm not fake. I'm not a scammer. I got to give it up to you for actually being on here. I didn't, I wouldn't think that a solo ad person, that your, your basic, I mean, it's unfortunate that that word solo ad is like a bunch yeah. of phony testimonials and fake robotic clicks from China. Yeah. And, and that's why, that's why, you know, I, I wanted to do this, you know, cause I know, yeah, like you that. said, like you said, you know, there's a lot of people out there scam. There's a lot of people don't want to put themselves in the video. You know, I do. I don't mind. I like talking. I like Billy Hayes and I'm real, you know, I'm real. I love it. You know, appreciate it. So. Well, thank you, brother. I'm going to sign this one off and beam it up to the universe. I'll get a copy to you real quick. And uh, then if you could share it too, cause uh, that's what I, that's how the, well, I'll give you a little tip. Uh, my coach, Michael Mansell showed me how to get uh the ranking on YouTube. Some people just upload the raw file. They don't care what the name of it is, but you should take your keyword and rename the file that keyword, then upload it and then put that keyword in the title and the description and in the tags. Definitely, definitely. I'll, I'll, def I'll definitely, uh, we'll keep that in mind. We'll definitely it do that. It ranks a lot better than some, you know, a bunch of numbers. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay well, Luis, I appreciate you taking the time. Anytime, anytime. Yes, sir. We've Appreciate it. You have a beautiful day. Stay blessed, guys.